The Scale tool is used to resize entities in SketchUp. The key to using the Scale tool correctly is in the Scale grips. Flat shapes are fairly easy to understand. Grabbing and pulling a corner grip scales the shape uniformly from the opposite corner. Pulling on a middle grip scales the object along that direction only, effectively stretching or squashing it. Remember, this is a flat shape, so you can only pull in two directions. Scaling a 3D object is really the same. You simply have options now in every direction. To scale the object uniformly in all directions, you still use the corner grip. To scale in only two directions, use a center corner grip. To stretch or squash the object in only one direction, use a center grip. Take a few minutes to practice using the scale tool, and it becomes very easy to understand. To make this object bigger, use a corner grip. To make it taller, use the top center grip. You can also use the scale tool to shape your models. Scale a single surface on a 3D object to taper it. You can see in this quick example that with only a few tools and some imagination, you can explore some interesting forms. Being accurate with the scale tool works based on a percentage of the original object. Select this group and pick the scale tool. Look in the measurements toolbar. It says 1.0. This means the object is 100% of its original size. As we scale it up or down, that number changes. For example, 2 is 200%, or twice as large as the original. Scaling it down to 0.5 means that the object is at 50%, or half of its original size. While scaling an object, you can type in an exact value. We still haven't clicked to finish scaling this object, so I can type in 2.25 and hit the Enter key to make the object exactly 225% larger. The Scale tool also has modifier keys to give you additional control. By default, the tool always scales from the opposite grip you choose, but hold the Control key or Option key on a Mac to scale from the center of the object. Holding the Shift key will force a uniform scale regardless of what grip you choose. The Scale tool can also be used to mirror objects in SketchUp. Choose a center grip and squash the object until it reverses direction. Watch the measurements toolbar, and when the value reads negative 1, you have created a perfect mirrored object. One final tip is to be aware of the axis. If you are scaling an object that is not along the axis, the scale tool may not work as you think it should. If this happens, you can right or context click on a surface and choose Align Axis. This will change the axis, letting the scale tool work more as you would expect. Right or context click on the axis and choose reset to move it back to the original position.